Hi and welcome back everyone, we're Robert here and in this episode we will dive into object-oriented programming with Python. In particular I will show you how you can wrap a Flask app in a class and interact with it in an object-oriented manner. This is especially useful if you want to include your Flask-based APIs in your object-oriented Python app. If you like this content, please consider giving a thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel. Now without further ado, let's get to it! Alright, I've SSH'd into my virtual machine yet. If you're not familiar with this setup, please watch my video SSH into a remote VM with Visual Studio Code. Now let's create a new directory for this project. Make directory flask OOP. OOP stands for Object Oriented Programming. However, of course, you're free to name this directory as you like. Next, we will create a virtual environment for this project with Conda. If you're not familiar with how to set up Conda, please watch my previous video, the Conda Setup Guide. We type Conda create dash n flask OOP python is 3.10 and then we hit enter. We confirm with yes. And now we can activate this new environment with conda activate flask op and then we hit enter. We change into a project directory, change directory flask op. Here we create a new python file with touch app Dot .py and we open it in the editor. Here we want to import Flask, but before we can do this we have to install Flask into our virtual environment. So in our terminal window we type pip install flask and enter. Additionally, I would recommend you to install the IntelliSense feature for Python from Microsoft here in the extensions tab. And now you can type from flask import flask then we create a class for example flask oop and in this class we wrap the flask app in a class property for this purpose we use a property decorator add property and we define the getter method as follows dev app self flask and we return self dot underscore app. Please note that each function in a class has to provide the self parameter here and here you can see that we define the return type which is the flask app and here we return the flask app from a class variable named underscore app. Please note that technically there are no private variables in Python, but it's a good practice to prefix private-like variables with an underscore. Now we can also define a setter method for this property. We write app.setter and we define it with dev app self app flask and self dot underscore app is app. So basically here we can pass in the flask app and here we store it in the underscore app class variable. Next we write the constructor for this class, dev init. The constructor is called whenever the class gets instantiated. So here we write self dot app is flask name. This stores our flask app in our app property with this setter. Now we can register the endpoints. We type self.register endpoints. However, this function doesn't exist yet, so we have to implement it. We type dev register endpoints self and we implement it as follows self.app dot add 
URL rule, which is a Flask function. And in the rule parameter, we basically add the route to this endpoint. And in the endpoint parameter, we add the name for this endpoint. Hello world, for example. Please note that this endpoint name has to be unique. Then we pass in the view func parameter, which defines the function that gets called whenever you navigate to this endpoint. So in our case, we will call the self.helloworld function. Again, this function doesn't exist yet, but we will create it in a second. Next, we define the methods that we want to allow for this endpoint. The methods are defined in an array and for now we just use the get method. Next we will implement this hello world function. We type def hello world self and we return greetings from flask oop App. Next we create another class function named run that actually allows us to run the Flask app. We type dev run self and here we simply run the Flask app that we previously stored in this app property. However, since we also want to accept parameters for this Flask app, we add the args and also the keyword args here as parameters to our run function. And additionally, we pass in these arguments to the run function of the original Flask app. Finally, we can instantiate and use our class. We write the following outside of the class. For the sake of simplicity, I write this in the same file, but you are free to instantiate this class in another file as well. I write if name is main, this basically allows us to run this script from the command line. And my flask app is flask op. This instantiates an object of the flask op class and stores it in the my flask app variable. Now I can run the flask app with my flask app dot run. And I also can pass in Flask parameters as follows. For example, debug is false or the port on which your Flask app shall run. Finally, you can run your app from the terminal window with python app.py and enter. Now you can click on this link here, control and click. This opens your endpoint in the browser window and it returns greetings from Flask OOP app. That's all for today. If you like this content, please click the like button, the subscribe button, and also the notification bell below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.